Right? Let's take a look at our air squat. And when we say air squat, all we mean is that we're squatting without any load. We're just using body weight. So we'd have to now get herself set up and her feet are gonna be a little wider than hip width and her toes are turning out a little bit. Now, as a good rule of thumb, let's start with a 15 or 20 degree turnout. So, you know, think 90 degrees is full, full perpendicular, 45 would be half of that. So we're talking half of half of 90 degrees. And so Janelle's about there, maybe more like 25 or 30 degrees, which is fine. And as she initiates her squat, her butt is gonna come back and down. So we're just gonna start with having you do a couple squats and then we'll look at it and critique it. Great. This time, stay in the bottom position for me. And if Janelle or I were to look at her legs, what we can see is that there's this line of her thigh, and right now her foot is turned out a little bit. And I think the same thing is true on the left. Come back up for me. Do me a favor, let's try turning your feet in a couple degrees from where you were. And then when you squat back down, let's see if the knee and foot line stay parallel, because that's gonna be our ideal. Great, that looks good. I'm gonna have Janelle turn 90 degrees, why don't you face towards me? so that you guys can now see from the side. So the same setup is here. The two things that are really important that we remember about an air squat or any sort of a squat is that we always initiate with the hips coming back first. So we load the hips first and then the knees are gonna take load. And then the second thing is we want the upper body to stay stable. I don't want you to arch your back and look up. I don't want you to curl your back and look down. I really want Janelle's ears, shoulders, and hips to stay in a straight line even as she hinges forward to go into the squat. I'll have you do five for me. Great, and sometimes we lose balance, that's all right. And you'll also notice guys, that Janelle is getting close to parallel. Her hips are almost at the same height as her knees. They're a little bit high. Let's not stay too, let's not get dogmatic about how deep we need to go for the squat to count. This is gonna be the squat that is gonna make her legs strong. If we were in a competition, we'd have to find a little bit more range of motion, but in terms of getting the hips and the knees moving really well, there's nothing wrong with being just a little bit higher on that. So that is our air squat. 